Hello everyone, welcome to the experience support session on Demystifying the Merge, a beginner's journey to open source contribution by Mili Jain and Arushi Bhandari. Both Mili Jain and Arushi Bhandari are students of Thirubai Ambani International School, uh, 11th graders and uh, Mili happens to be a STEM enthusiast. Uh, she has experience in robotics, astrophysics, research and programming. She has interned at Cactus Communications and contributed to Specmatic's open source project. She also founded Space Through Art to teach astrophysics to underprivileged children and volunteered at Agile India Conf 2023. Arushi, on the other hand, has interned at News and Specmatic, enhancing app interfaces and cross-platform compatibility. She is exploring physics research with computer science and has completed data science and quantum computing courses. She also enjoys piano, dancing, and singing. Join us in welcoming both Mili and Arushi to the stage. I hope you enjoy the session and find it informative. Thank you. Uh, so today we'll be presenting a short talk about demystifying the merge on which we will, we will share our beginner's journey to open source contribution. So I'm Mili Jain from the Dhirubhai Ambani International School and I'm interested in human-computer interaction. Hi, I'm also I'm Arushi Pandari, also from the Theatre of Bambuana International School, uh, with the same passion in computer science and physics. Both of us have been, uh, both of us have seen and encountered open source software like Linux, a Python, Selenium, and APM, which have been created by amazing developers like you that wish to produce, wish to provide access to everybody in the world free of cost. We want to understand um, why these open source softwares are freely distributed in the world, allowing for anybody to contribute to the code. Uh, this question got us interested in open source software, how it works and why it's important. When developers like you encounter situations where they, when they face a problem or realize that something could be improved, they can create open source software to scratch their personal itch and solve these issues while also sharing their solution with the rest of the world. So, for example, Selenium itself is, create, is an open source software created by Jason Huggins that serves the purpose of testing web applications across various browsers, working as an automated tool. But why did he create this tool? He was working on a web application that required frequent testing, and he wanted to automate this testing process to save his time and effort. To achieve this, he programmed the JavaScript test runner, which later developed and evolved to become Selenium. So why do developers make their solutions open source? People from uh, The reason for this is that people from all over the world come together to solve these problems, offering diverse perspectives uh, and expertise. Individuals can also choose which problems they want to solve, which allows flexibility and um, allows them to align with their own personal interests. Additionally, open source softwares also ensure complete transparency by making the source code available for review and auditing to all. So how exactly did um, we get into this field? So personally, last year I was working with Cactus Communications as an intern where I had to make a chat GPT plugin game um, where the company Cactus helped researchers um, author and publish their scientific papers. This plugin game used APIs to integrate with other softwares and this concept made me interested in APIs and intrigued me to learn more. For me, on my own time, I had been doing a course on programming with Python, where one of the sections discussed APIs and its usage in code. I was quite interested in the idea of being able to call upon programs um, created and released by others through the internet online and incorporate them in my own code. However, APIs are always changing and evolving, which causes the programs that consume these APIs to also fail as a result of incom incompatibility issues. Therefore, we look for something that could help us with this problem. The problem being um, API developers accidentally breaking their APIs when making changes because of incompatibility across versions or different softwares. That's when we came across Pegmatic and started looking at their sample projects that were available to us on GitHub. So what did we exactly do? Uh, Specmatic was, uh, when we found Specmatic, we realized that it was able to automatically generate these tests and it ensured that it did not break these APIs. So we downloaded the actual project from GitHub and we tried to compile it. Uh, but I had JDK 18, which did not allow me to c compile the project. And because of this, I asked uh, ChatGPT and it suggested me to delete the hard-coded version 
uh, the hard-coded line in the gradle pile of spagmatic which mentioned jdk 17 um i did not know anything about gradle but i followed these instructions and it worked i faced a different problem on my pc once i began to run the tests i encountered errors that did not let me package the project so as i went through the error files i explained what the program was expecting and what it got instead i realized the issue i was facing the tech the test expected to receive um file pass file parts that utilized a forward slash as a file separator but due to my laptop having a windows operating system it received backward slashes instead and thus the tests were failing um we again used chat gpd for a bit to identify this issue and learn that these file parts can be made os independent by replacing the already uh you know backward slash um file separators and transforming them into a variable that would fill in the required part, se part separator according to the operating system being used. So we made these changes and the test started passing. So after we uh, made this change, we wondered if many other developers across the world would also face the same issue. So therefore, we thought of reaching out to the Specmatic developers and they asked us to raise a pull request. And then we thought, what is a pull request? They got our call with us and encouraged us to raise one. With their help, we logged onto our GitHub accounts and forked the project. Also updated the code we wanted to fix on our individual folks. Then we created a pull request, um, filling in the required information about the changes we made, and then sent it to the Specmatic team for review. This was how we made our first contribution to open source software by looking at the problems that we faced while compiling the project, fixing them with the help of some online tools, and then um, sending it as a pull request. This experience was quite rewarding for both of us. We were able to contribute to such an amazing project with very little knowledge of the open source world. Now we know why open source developers, like you, really enjoy this process. So, for the last two months, we had our final term exams for the 11th grade and we were quite busy. Now we have our vacations and that's why we're looking forward to making more contributions to Specmatic as well as other open source projects. And reflecting back, we were overwhelmed when we first came across this contribution to the open source project. But after all, we realized that it was actually very simple. The open source community is very welcoming and encouraging. And thanks to ChatGPT, with very little knowledge, you can actually find a solution and contribute back. We are extremely thankful to the Specmatic team for encouraging and supporting us throughout the process. They inspired us to share our experience on this platform and are also actively helping other students to contribute to open source softwares like Specmatic too. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Oh, uh, this was such a wonderful presentation. Awesome. And folks, uh, anyone who is right now present online uh, wants to ask a question. Okay. I see one from Marit. Um, I wanted to ask on, on uh, the people in the project and when you approach them uh, on Specmatic project on on, on this problem, uh, were they kind of like, how was the approach? Like, uh, were you welcomed or was it difficult to ask developers on an open source project to, to be able to contribute? We actually found it quite easy because they were very encouraging in the sense that they even got on a call with us and helped us understand what exactly even the pull request is. We didn't have any experience with this, right? So. We were fortunate that they were welcoming, welcoming enough to answer our questions and also to not, you know, shun us or put us, put us aside. So yeah, it was pretty great for us. Yeah, it was quite a great experience because they actually helped us understand every small step of the process. And us only being high schoolers with very limited experience in the open source world, we actually got to learn a lot more. And um, yeah, it was quite a good, good experience. Um, if I can ask still one more question. Uh, what... Well, you have very impressive CVs uh, for high schoolers, <laughs> like really impressive. What brought you into this industry? I'm I'm really curious on this one. So I'm sure we both have different personal interests, but for me, it's pretty simple. I've been um, well on my laptop for a good amount of time. I was given at a very young age, so my entire world was sort of built around it. As a result of that, I spent a lot of time just, you know, getting myself involved with the world of computer science, where... I found a lot of interest in programming because it appealed to my, you know, logical side of like solving these small problems. And thus I explored courses online. Um, one of the really famous ones is Introduction to Programming with Python. I also did some about quantum computing since I found an interest relating physics and computer science. So overall for me, it was my own like passion towards the subject, which I tried to build. 
my reason is also very similar to arushi since the beginning like since when i was a child i was also surrounded with technology and my dad is also in the field of computer science so uh, i was exposed to this field at a very young age and i'm also logical and rational and therefore i like programming and uh, stem related fields therefore i was interested in uh, physics computer science and engineering thank you great answers and great talk thank you thank you